Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we are going to be turning the Glendale into the Apocalypse version. So if you want to follow me in this build, go and purchase your Glendale for $200,000. Or you can get it for trade price at $150,000, uh, which is, you know, it's a pretty sweet deal. If you want to do the trade mission, you can get it for fifty grand cheaper, which is, um, you know, it's pretty good. It's not a bad little bit of a saving you'll be making there. But anyway, we're going to be purchasing this Glendale for... Two hundred thousand dollars because I have the trade option locked, and um, as you can see, it is, you know, a Glendale. Nothing spectacular, but we are going to be turning it into this. Oh my god, that is insane! That is insane. So let's get into my workshop and fucking do this shit. So we go. We're in the workshop, and we're going to upgrade this to the Apocalypse version. It's got to be done because all my other vehicles. Oh, the apocalypse! I'm going for the, the you know, the the Mad Max themed workshop garage right here. Uh, the Future Shock looks okay as usual, you know, nothing spectacular, nothing too special. Um, the Nightmare again just looks stupid, but the apocalypse actually looks really good. So we're going to be purchasing that for 1.6 million dollars. Oh my word, that is expensive. Let's do it. And there we go. We are now in a monstrosity of a Glendale. That is nuts, man. Why is the back of it so big? Can people climb onto the back? I don't really know what, what the deal is with that. It's like the Glendale stretched as well. That doesn't make sense. You know, if, if the Glendale chassis actually stayed the same size and then sort of you stuck a, a monster truck chassis underneath it, or sorry, the Glendale shell stayed the same size and you stuck a monster truck chassis underneath. That would kind of make a little bit more sense, but this doesn't make sense at all. It's like, you've got a standard Glendale, you upgrade it to an Apocalypse and it stretches it, stretches the shell. It's made it into like a stretch limousine Glendale. It's weird as fuck. But it looks insane. It looks nuts. I think this is going to be um, probably one of the best vehicles that you could have in arena war just guessing hopefully it's going to be quick and strong um but we'll, you know we'll find that in future videos but anyway this video is all about upgrading and customizing this bitch so we're going to start with race brakes not street brakes race brakes then we're going to go to the boost like i said in previous videos i, don't, I still don't know what the shunt boost means so i'm going to go boost upgrade 100 percent because i know it actually gives me like a nitrous boost so i'm going to go with that bodywork decorations we're gonna go full crazy on this the ram skull medieval madness yeah I think, yeah like i said we're gonna go full crazy on this so we're gonna go with that we've got the spikes we're gonna get the spikes full crazy armor plating heavy armor plating then we've got the engine we're gonna get the level four engine upgrade the exhaust holy crap they're big exhausts where was the exhaust originally oh there so it just makes them quadrupled then we've got the big ovals like I said full crazy full crazy front and rear triple exhaust there we go holy crap fenders we've got the bullhorn does that actually look good yeah it looks alright 900 why the hell not we've got the grill oh crap man that is insane I actually prefer the light rustic armor grill to be fair, so we're gonna go with that one. Uh, we've got the hood. So this is just giving you different armor plating on the hood and by the looks of it an intake, which is sweet, so we're gonna just go with that one. Then we're gonna go to the lights, headlights. We are gonna purchase a different color. I'm feeling pink. Should we go pink? I dunno. Pink seems a bit fucking weird. We're gonna go red. Why the hell not? Next we've got the livery, obviously this is just going to be different rust liveries. And... Um, yeah, I like heavy rust, we're going to go with that. So for the vehicle name, I think I'm just going to call it Glenda. Why the hell not? Symbol. So then we do get the option to respray, we're going to go primary colour. Obviously because we've got that rusted livery, we are going to stay matte for the paintwork. And at the moment it is a light grey. Yeah, I think yellow is a winner. Let's go with the yellow matte for the primary colour. Then we're going to move down to the roof. Oh shit, so we've got extra armor plating for the roof. That's pretty cool. 
I think uh, the medium armored roof actually looks the best, so we're going to go with that one. We even get a spoiler option. Holy crap. <laughs> so we've got stack barrels in the back. Barrels of junk. And then we've got a skeleton cage. Oh my god, that is morbid as fuck. But we're going to get it. Let's go for it. Skeleton cage. Yes. Then we've got the transmission. We're going to get a race transmission. Turbo, we're going to get the... We're going to get the turbo tuning. Did we purchase it? We did. Then we're going to get the vertical jump. Could you imagine this monster doing a vertical jump? I can. So we're going to be purchasing it. 100% upgrade. Let's do it. Wheels. I don't think we're going to get wheels which are any better than these. But we'll have a quick look. Hopefully uh, the wheel size doesn't change. Because on a lot of vehicles, you if you change them to... Um, like aftermarket wheels rather than having the stock wheels the wheel diameter changes and it's really really weird but anyway let's have a look mm, I think it kind of slightly maybe um, maybe not I think actually they are the same size but like I said man I don't think we're going to get anything better than these standard wheels I think they actually look really cool um, obviously if you did want to change them you could alternatively go with an off-road look but nah I think the stock wheels look the best so I'm going to stay stock for the wheels which means actually I can't purchase the bullet oh I can bullet purchase the bulletproof can't I oh my god get your words out I can purchase the bulletproof tires which is a plus so staying stock for the wheels is not a problem for me so we're going to do that um, the windows <laughs> nah not, not even going to bother tinting them why the fuck would I then we're going to go ram weapons at the front. Oh my god, I'm going to go full large on this. Oh, look at that. That is nuts. We're going to go large scoop, obviously. Obviously go go large scoop. But then these look pretty smart as well. These ball bars. Heavy ram. They actually look quite cool, man. But nah. We want ones with spikes. <laughs> we're going to go primary weapons. Uh, we're going to go with the, the rusted ones. The rusted mounted 50 cal. Then we've got the proxy mines. And... I don't even know what ones I want to go with. I'd spike? Yeah, why the fuck not? Let's go spike. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this out onto the streets. And <laughs> see how it measures up to something on the roads. Them headlights look fucking cool, man. They actually look really good. But now you can, as you can hear, it sounds more like a, um, a bus than a car. But it's wheel spinning all over the place, so it must be quick. You see, we've got the bomb, uh, the 50 cows. Oh my god. There's like smoke coming out everywhere. We can drop the proxy mines, have some of that. We can boost. And we can jump. Um, <laughs> that is fucking insane. So, out of all the ones that I've customized so far, this is the, this is the one with the biggest difference in regards to, like, obviously the way it looks because it starts off as a little family sedan and uh, and now it's like a big hell bus it is cool as fuck though it is awesome and it sounds like a bus as well it sounds like a truck but anyway guys that is going to be the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy if you did smash that like button and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios Thank you.